Well, hello everybody. It's Kristen Hahn and today uh, we are back in my bathroom. So shh, because I don't know about the echo. So I'm trying to talk silent. Plus, we also have some fun things happening in my uh, my nursery, my little, my little, my little lighting nursery. So I got busy the other day and I decided, you know, the last time we talked, my basil seeds had just sprouted and I thought, oh, here's Ellie. She's going to come say hi. <laughs> I'm on the floor, so there's no stopping this. <laughs> um, so we had talked about my basil seeds just sprouting and I was going to go and um, plant a couple more trays. Well, I didn't do it right away. I waited because we wound up having a big snowstorm and it got really cold. And honestly, I wish I had waited another day. But, um, sorry about my hand. Okay, but what uh, we had this big snowstorm and it got really cold. So last night what happened was we we lost power and I was a little worried, but I think we're going to be okay and we're just going to keep going because um, I only part way know what I'm doing. So um, up on the top, I'm going to kind of just show you here up on the top what we have going is um, this is a new tray of oregano. So oregano, you actually need to germinate in the light. So you see um, there's a stink bug on there and he is gonna uh, go away. <laughs> I didn't know he was there. Um, but anyways, it's pretty close to the light. I wanna heat it up and get the soil nice and warm so that it germinates because one lesson that I did learn with my basil is it needs to be warm. Um, this over here, I'm going to slide it around and let's see. Um, there's, there's my little basil right there. So out of this entire tray, it looks like I'm probably going to get three, maybe four um, plants out of it. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. Honestly, I'm excited. What I'm going to wind up doing, I'm going to kind of tuck my little basil back. I want him really close to the light as well to keep nice and warm and then also to continue to grow and grow up and get nice and big and strong. So um, pretty soon, probably in a week or so, I'm hoping to transplant my basil and then um, let that keep growing and I'm going to feed it. So that's all good. And then, um, say, say hi, Ellie. <laughs> She's not amused. Okay. In here, I have, we're gonna, okay, these are our little babies. These are our little baby plants. And they have a nice greenhouse happening on them. So what I have is I have thyme and I have cilantro. Oh my gosh, camera. So thyme and cilantro. The thyme, it's got like a 22 day germination period. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens with the thyme and the cilantro. Hopefully next week, um, I'm gonna start seeing some seeds pop and then he'll pop up under the light too. So I really enjoy the system. Now this is lighting as well. So pretty soon if I keep going like this and I'm going to be going like this, um, I'm gonna fill up. And so I'm gonna have to figure out a different way with my heating pads. I'm not that worried. Um, <clears throat> in fact, I'm very excited. So let me tell you a little bit. Um, once I transplant those seeds with the basil, um, transplant those seedlings out of that tray, what I'm gonna do <coughs> is I'm just gonna turn around and I'm gonna put some more seeds right 
back into this tray and um, just grow it and, and see what comes up. I really think um, the reason why I didn't get a full tray was because I did not have that heating pad. So I didn't get, do you see how the oregano even, it's it's really, it looks like a greenhouse. It's got lots of good water. I didn't have that uh, with the oregano. So um, I think that's where I went wrong. I really don't know. And that's the fun part about this is that I really don't know. And I just hope that you say to yourself, you know, it's a good way to save a little bit of money and um, bring some really good healthiness to the table. And let me see, maybe I can, you know, grow some tomatoes for my family this year, maybe even if it's in a pot. So um, exciting things are going to start happening because I am going to start seeds and get them going for onions. Um, that I remember right off the bat. Uh, those have to get started pretty early. And, uh, oh, my pepper seeds are going to start uh, going pretty early too. So fun things, and I will keep showing you little bits and pieces. But for right now, there's there's my nursery. There's That's where we all are. And uh, I'm now going to read my seedlings a story because that's important too. Y'all have a good day. Happy farming.